Welcome back to another edition of Ego on Break. This is the third attempt as uh, the, the first attempt. The sun got us in the second attempt. I got choked. So uh, <laughs> the third attempt. And here we go. Pop the door. Pop the door open. It's Turn not safe to drive open. down the road with the door open. Yeah, for y'all that don't realize we're not driving. Not Sonic. Not Crystals. Not Taco Bell. It's Chinese tea. Chinese tea. So, uh... Yeah, so uh, we're going to talk about Path to Pride 4. Uh, it happened May 13th Pearl, at Mississippi. the old Pearl High School gym in Pearl, Mississippi. The uh, The car did not come across as advertised. Um, thankfully, we got that fine print of cards subject to change, and that's exactly what it did. Uh, we're going to give a rundown of just each match, mm -hmm. and then we'll uh, we'll come back and talk about each match. All right, first match was Eric the Ghost Silva. He took on Oblivion. Second match, Pride Champion Joey Abel took on Juan Davis, the fake John Davis. Yeah. Uh, with a um, hopefully John Davis fake is now. Hey, I, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Right. Uh, <laughs> the third match was a trios challenge. Um, it had the Abbey Street Boot Boys versus what we're calling Dimension X, and that was Riot, Trevor Aeon, and the Zombie Dragon. That's it. Okay. Fourth match was Edward O'Shea took on Davy Vega. Right? O'Shea Edwards. What did I backwards. say? Ed, Ed, ah. O'Shea. O'Shea Edwards. My bad, Mr. <laughs> Silvertongue. O'Shea Edwards, Ooh, the guy with two last names, he took on <laughs> uh, Davy Vega. Fifth match was eh, it was a uh, was it two titles up for grabs. We had Jake mm -hmm. Parnell put his zero one USA Junior Heavyweight Championship mat, uh, ch championship title on the line. Orion Taylor put his Pro Wrestling Yo Styles title on the line, and they took on Johnny Nix. Mm -hmm. So it was a triple threat. Two pinfalls. First pinfall, the winner got the zero one title. Second pinfall, the Styles title. Gotcha. And then to my main event, Gary J, Ray Fury. Yep. And then main event, Michael Elgin, John Davis, Federated Championship. Very much. So uh, it was a hoss of a match. And uh, so what was your overall thought of the, of the event? Pretty solid card, honestly. I thought so too. I thought. Uh, you had a little bit of everything. Yeah, it was. Uh, that's kind of our, our thing. We have a nice mixture of yeah. stuff. So, uh, you had the big guys hard hitting, you had some high flying, you had right. tag. So, <laughs> we had you had goofy, we had headlocks and dives. Yeah. Yeah. Go figure. So, <laughs> maybe you get some Twitter war started over. Yeah. So, had uh, hugs too. Yeah, had hugs and handshakes. Hugs, handshakes, hugs and handshakes. That's your next one. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> a mu uh, how many ways can you show respect? Hugs uh, and handshakes. Hugs, handshake. Uh, got a kiss, I'm getting the hell out of there. <laughs> So, uh, first match, uh, Eric Silva versus Oblivion. What'd you think? I thought they actually played off each other quite well. I did too. I, I enjoyed the match. I thought uh, it was really good. I think Oblivion's finally maybe finding his little streak. Yeah, his niche. He's kind of, yeah. he's kind of definitely growing into himself. He had an identity crisis for a while yeah. and, uh, man, he looks like a million bucks. Yeah. So, uh, I definitely enjoyed that match. They got the crowd into it. Um... Eric Silva walked away with the win yeah. as he defeated Oblivion, but I think Oblivion became a crowd favorite if he wasn't already. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of new faces, and he definitely he definitely brought them aboard the, the pro wrestling ego train, so to speak. I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch. Yeah, honestly. absolutely, absolutely. All right. Um, second match, Joey Abel and John Davis, Juan Davis. Fake Davis. So uh, essentially, I think that was more of Joey's attempt to get under John Davis' skin. And it worked. And it worked. Um, unfortunately, we saw Fanger poke a doom. Yeah. Joey Abel pinned Juan Davis and be, and retained his his Pride Championship, which is kind of funny that championship was named the Pride Championship, and he didn't have a lot of pride beating a fake John Davis. Yeah. Um, but the good news is, John Davis did came out, come out, came out. Mm -hmm. He didn't came out. He came. He, we came out in this instance. Um, 
Joey pretty much used Juan Davis as a, a shield, which didn't work as John Davis. No, I didn't really use him as a shield. He goes, what are you, a coward? Attack him. He runs at him and he said, pop! <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> down went Juan Davis. knocked his mask teeth out. <laughs> You know what? I bet that was probably the first time John Davis has ever had to beat up John Davis. Well, at least a picture of his yeah, face. Yeah, at least a picture of his face. Yeah. So, uh, so I think John Davis got Joey Abel's attention. Yeah. Because uh, Joey retreated. Yeah. Yeah, it's not something you see from Joey that often, uh, or maybe even ever. Only every match. He only runs for, yeah. him for a short period of time. But uh, in his words, John Davis, this will happen on my time, not yours. Yeah. So he was kind of right. Yeah. Kind of. All right. The third match was the Trios Challenge. What did mm. you think about the new group? Uh, Riot, brought, I guess he brought some friends from the wasteland, you know. Um, yeah. Bringing Trevor Aon, representing 13th floor. Yeah, and I, I do apologize because I know one time I called him Aon Flex, so yeah. if it made it on film, sorry. That's what happens when you know guys with similar names. Uh, I, how many people you know them Aeon? Two. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Trevor but, and Flex. So, <laughs> so sorry about that. It's almost like having but, uh, multiple kids, you know, and you just call them all the, you know. You had the Zombie Dragon, Aeon, and Riot. Right. And, I mean, I thought it was a great match. It was really yep. good. I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I didn't see all the match as I was doing my ring announcer slash promoter slash janitorial duties. Yeah. And uh, but what I did, what I did see, I did enjoy. Zombie Dragon. If you if you're not familiar with Zombie Dragon, you should be. Yeah, um, he is very unique. Out, bro. <laughs> very unique to say the least. I'd like to see him in oblivion. I bet that'd be a cluster. <laughs> It'd be something. <laughs> so uh, I did enjoy that. I, the the new trio, the new team, new affiliation. So, uh, but if you get all those guys, you know, thirteenth floor, it's four or five of those guys. You know, there's two or three of the. You know, days of rage, and who, who knows how many more zombies there are. So, I mean, they could almost they could band together. They make it take over the whole world. You know, it's kind of like yeah. Pinky in the Brain. You know, so I know that's uh, a zombie dragon. But I was wrong. Yeah, only in pro wrestling, ego, I guess. Uh, hell, only in pro wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we got to see the Abbey Street Boot Boys come out of that victorious, mm -hmm. uh, which they hit a, a pretty unique finisher. What do you think about that finisher? That's double team uh, sliced bread. Yeah. Yeah. No so, triple team sliced triple bread. Team. My bread. Triple my team. Triple team. My bread. bread. My bad. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bad bread. So uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. It was really cool. Um, the crowd was really behind the boot boys, mm -hmm. which you know is to be expected. Uh, they are um, entertaining. They're unique in their own way. Right on. All right, then we get to see O'Shea Edwards. Yeah. Not Edward O'Shea, but O'Shea yeah, Edwards. Yeah, tell me how that works. As he took on the miracle worker, uh, David Vega. He's the miracle worker. That's what he says. Sweet. So, working miracles. All right. I think that was maybe the biggest surprise of the night was O'Shea Edwards beating David Vega. Yeah. Would you say so? I guess there was a lot of size differential, but it was definitely some. Yep. Probably at least at 70 pounds. Oh, at least. Um, and and may, it may be several I'm probably, inches. I, I'm probably giving him a little more, a yeah. little less than I should, but, you know, I'm trying to be nice. I mean, uh, O'Shea was definitely the bigger guy, yeah. but I don't know how many people expected him to beat David Vega. I mean, David Vega's, you know, he's traveled around, man. Yeah. He's, you know, he's with NWL. He's Glory Pro. I mean, he's done Chikara. I mean, he's, he's definitely the... I'm not gonna say the bigger name, but probably the most, the more recognizable name out of the two. Yeah, the more traveled. Yeah. Right. That, yeah. There you go. The more seasoned guy. Yeah. And uh, O'Shea pulled it off. Yeah. It so, was a good match, man. Really. So good. big props to him. So uh, he hit that. Uh, I call it the round the world rock bottom. Yep. So, yep. I don't know what he calls it. Cause oh. Everybody's got a name. Oh, yeah. name for everything. I'm sure there's a name, but you know, I think people understand what you're saying. But I was like, I kind of thought. This match to me was kind of like, because last time you saw him, it was a uh, Southern 8, and he like come this close to winning the Southern 8, right. and I'm like, well, this will be like, I'll show you, I can't win the Southern 8, I'll beat this guy. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't happen either. But yeah. it was close. Well, right now, David Vega's two for two. Yeah. Hey, it was good, dude. It was good. So, uh, yeah, the only thing stood in his way of winning the very Southern 8 was John Davis. <laughs> so, <laughs> I want to help you book a match if it's possible All one right. time, uh, but him and Jake Parnell. Vega versus Parnell? Mm-hmm. 
you know that match was plan c well, I, 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 <laughs> I would plan a it next all right we can do that yeah oh, that'll be phenomenal yeah, so yeah, i'm smart yeah just don't look it yeah oh you definitely don't look it I'm smarter I than i look I told you. <laughs> all right well speaking of jake parnell he was in our next match triple threat yep. jake parnell retained mm -hmm. his uh junior heavyweight title by pinning a ryan taylor yeah, he hit the m bison stomp off the top rope right yeah and then it looked like it killed a ryan bro yeah. I was like, it sounded like bastard. it killed a ryan too yeah. And I bet it felt like he killed Ryan too, if you ask a Ryan. I talked to him later. He said, yeah, he, he'll definitely be taking them Excedrin. Yeah, Excedrin headache number 72. Or ibuprofen or whatever his headache medicine of choice yeah. is. So, uh, and then turn around, we saw Orion Taylor defeat Jake Both. Parnell and Johnny Nix with a standing Spanish fly. Yeah. Right? That's what you call it? I yeah. called it Oh My Damn because I did not think this move was going to go off as the way it was planned because yeah. I've never seen anybody pull it off standing. I've never seen it either. And I have now. And, so, uh, and my fish and got to see it live. was Oh My Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's pure and unexpected when yeah. you go Oh My Damn. <laughs> so, so uh, there was that. So, with multiple dives too. In the, yeah. On, on that Both, back. uh, both champions retain their titles. And also, this Nix may not have won them, but won a fall, but like, he I think he my won. Attention. Yeah. yeah. I think he got the attention of the ego uh, office. Yeah. I mean, so, definitely uh, caught. Where was he coming out of? Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, you had a couple of guys from Georgia, didn't yeah. you? Zombies and Ghost. Yeah. And Nix. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, a ghost, a zombie, and Johnny Nix. There you go. <laughs> Which I don't know, maybe the zombies from George. I mean, he may be from. I think he said George. Is, is yeah. that where dead people live? Uh -huh. Well, that's where they film Walking Dead. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh -huh. There you go. Right off the set of. New ever done. Right off being an extra of Walking Dead is <laughs> <laughs> a zombie dragon. It's like, what happens if you had How to Train Your Dragon and Walking uh -huh. Dead? Well, a wrestling zombie. character. Zombie dragon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And for y'all that have not seen this guy, he's literally covered in dried blood. I don't know if it was dry, brother. <laughs> well, whatever. I think it was still leaking out because when he walked out, he removed the, the knife from his throat. No. So, uh, yeah, so I think there was still... Uh, I zoomed in on the interest. I'll have to go look at there, that. There was still a little bit of uh, drippage there, so wow. to speak. Cool. So not every day you get to see a zombie undead itself, I guess. Unimpelling. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, leads to semifinals. Mm. Or se semi main event, not semifinals. Yeah. Okay. A little bit tongue tied today for some reason. My brain's not working. You had a long weekend. It's <sighs> definitely a long weekend. At least you wasn't in jail. <laughs> <sighs> you got jokes. Yes, I do. Plenty. <laughs> so, uh, Gary J. Yep. Ray Fury. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts? Well, it was Catter Day. It was always Catter Day. And it was, uh,. It was time for Jerry, Gary J to pull off a win on Catter Day for Gary J's cats. And he pulled it off. Pulled, literally. Pulled it off and other things. <laughs> so if you was uh if you had ever wondered what Ray Fury looked like um from behind with no clothes on, you might have got your chance to see it if you would have been in attendance. He had a crack in Because yeah. Gary J had a handful of tights. Yeah, he, he uh, had a he had a crack in his plan. Yeah, it definitely cracked. But it was a hard hitting, stiff hitting oh, match. Man, uh, it was, I know at one point, um, Gary dove out onto Ray Fury, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, luckily, I was standing between the ring and the crowd. I, I got that, dude. And like I uh, followed you with the camera, and all of a sudden, you, I was like, "Well, Jace was to get took out." <laughs> like to break my hip. <laughs> I was like, oh, because I've never seen. I knew Gary Dove, but I've never seen do it live. Yeah. I don't believe. I, I don't have, know I what don't it looked remember. like, but it I can good. tell you that. Um, I bet the fans appreciated it. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Which is the second time. You know, I'm kind of new to ring announcing, or I hadn't done it in a long time, and I'm about to learn that standing between the crowd and the ring with your back turned is not always the best option. Mm -hmm. Because not only did Gary J land on me. Um, Orion Taylor did too. Sweet. 
and Oblivion headbutted me, and I have a nice little scratch across my nose. Oh, is that where you got there from? Yeah. Uh, it took me all day yesterday to figure out where the heck I got it from. Because I was like, how did I get a scratch on my I'm nose? That might one of your birthday punches. No, it was Oblivion. He headbutted me in the nose. Sweet. Um, he got a little excited. He went yabba dabba 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 and yabba dabba dabba right into my nose. Yeah, you had an Oblivion bus. Yeah, you? so, uh, but back to the, the match. It was probably my favorite match. And it was, I don't know if it was because it was such a good match or because the lady wanted to kill Gary J. Oh, man. Because uh, I had to get in between uh the knockout queen and gary <laughs> and mr catterday himself so uh, i know bro that's what i even say it while i'm calling the match it's like what he don't know is this woman will beat him up more, so oh yeah than, 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 oh yeah he'd be begging for the dark fury. dark fury i, I know like, uh, as he was leaving um there were several kids that was in his face and so i was trying to you know stand in between them so the kids didn't beat gary j up now, at the corner of my eye, I see this lady coming with a baby on her hip, and she was wide open. I was like, oh, not me. <laughs> and she proceeded to try to bust his head while holding the baby. So, uh, Welcome to Mississippi. We don't put down <laughs> our children while whooping ass. <laughs> but I will say that that made my night. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, Miss Lady, whoever you were, I did enjoy that you were about to knock Gary <laughs> J out. With uh, one hand while taking care of your kids, well, was, was I did not enjoy having to be in between you two while that happened. But uh, your baby said, "Honey, I'm gonna show you how to kick this man's ass." Watch this. Well, this is how Mama does. It. <laughs> <laughs> so At least she was, didn't have a cigarette in her mouth or a beer in her hand. Yeah, that made well. You know, you know, they say hold my beer. She says they told somebody hold my baby. Oh, <laughs> so that was fun. And then uh, main event. Yeah, federated title, Mr. Martinez. He uh, flew down for this, mm -hmm. with it being the Federated brand. He was brand ambassador for Federated. Now, where is, Fer where is Federated out of? In New York. New York, okay, yep. okay, okay, okay. Federated is essentially a group of wrestlers under one brand. Think Bullet Club without mm -hmm. Bullet Club. Okay. Um, I guess it's a group. Right, they're they're a group, and it's. I just a, didn't know where it was from. I knew I knew Davis come out of Florida. Right, so I didn't know now Florida they have or affiliates in a lot of promotions, and they're recognized by a lot of promotions. Okay. Cool. Uh, they have working relationships with uh, the WWE Network, uh, six or seven. I think uh, Evolve. Yeah, well, that's WWE. Yeah. Evolve, FIP, uh, the Styles mm -hmm. Battle. Okay. Um, but they're recognized in a couple of promotions in like New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, uh, maybe down to that East Coast, down to Florida, and then Mississippi. Yeah. So uh, we are proud to be as associated with Federated. And as at this point, we have John Davis, that's the Federated champion. He's also a yeah. Federated brand athlete. Mm -hmm. And Ray Fury is a Federated brand athlete. Yeah. And he said he spotted some more that he was interested he in. He did say he was very interested and a few guys he would not tell me who they were he just smiled a lot he smiled a lot and was very happy so yeah. uh thank you mr federated brand ambassador mr martinez we did enjoy you being in attendance and it did put uh, you know it added to the match yeah and from there we got john davis versus michael elgin federated title and i've been waiting on this match for about since you told me about it yeah I think a lot of people has been yeah. waiting on this match. It was like a dream match that almost happened several times, I think. Yeah. But like they kept passing each other in the right. night. Yeah. Um, it was very hard hitting. It came down to to Michael Elgin about to hit the Elgin bomb on Davis. Yeah. Potentially could have been the new Federated Champion. Yeah, bro, that was so many damn hard hitting moves in that match. But unfortunately. I don't want to give away anything in the match. Right. So I don't want to talk about it too much. To, but when I put it up, I'll put it out. Unfortunately, uh, the Pride Champion Joey Abel decided now mm -hmm. was John Davis's time. Why would you decide if there's a bear and a gorilla fighting? I'm gonna go get in the middle of this. <laughs> My best thought was was that if John lost the Federated title, Joey couldn't win it. Well, true, but and he saw Elgin beating John at that moment. That's my thought. I don't think Joey thought it was going to upset Elgin like it did. <laughs> and Elgin said, I came here to win his belt, the Federated Championship, and you cost me that. So now I'm coming here to win his belt and your belt. 
John Davis, along with thanks to Mr. Martinez, were able to get myself and other members of the um, board of directors. You had Big Rob out there with helping. Yep. So. yep, and we had there's one or two more members of the board of directors that choose to remain anonymous. That's why I said Big Rob and you. Yep. I didn't think anybody else. Uh, they there. had us on. The, Mr. Martinez had us on the phone, and uh, we said, "Hey, let's make it official." So. John Davis, Michael Elgin, Joey Abel, ego title and federated title, winner take all. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. The winner took all. Yep. Um, John Davis broke Joey Abel's neck. Is the only move I, Bro, was, I can use to, to explain that. It was a it was so weird. spiked neck breaker on your forehead move. Until um, you see it, you're not going to understand what the hell he's yeah. talking about. That's the best way I can Very explain. scary for, for the fans yeah. in attendance, even those that hated Joey Abel. Yeah, I mean, it, um, it was definitely vicious. But as one guy, this was his first independent wrestling event ever. Uh -huh. And he said the match went from good to great to glorious. So, um, kudos to No John Stay, uh, as he's known on Instagram for putting it out there because he he loved it sure. uh joey abel probably didn't love it as we have a new pride champion yeah, in john davis so speaking of the rematch when is the rematch june 24th at the hideaway there you go so that's how i led into that there you go Smart. Yeah. <laughs> these glasses ain't just for looks there you go so that's that nah, was path to pride four yeah uh, you got a few Live in Headlocks filmed? Uh, Jake Parnell and Davey Vega. Awesome. Why do you think I said singles match? Uh, oh, uh, I see how you led into that. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so guys, uh, if you were in attendance, give us some feedback. If you uh, if you weren't in attendance, check out your page. Life in a Headlock. Oh, well, I don't have it under Life in a Headlock. I need, I should What's your YouTube it. page? Shea Crosby. Shea Crosby. -A -C -R -O -S -B -Y, YouTube. Uh, Pro Wrestling Ego on YouTube. Um, yeah, it's going to be out there. I think there's already a few fan versions out floating around that got put up yeah. uh, Saturday night. But I'm dead center and I got the action perfect. So. There you go. So uh, thanks for watching um, Ego on Break. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Favorite. Uh, yeah, whatever. Give us your opinion of the show if you Yeah, give us some feedback. Uh, yeah. We'd like to hear what you think. And. Uh, if nothing else, just say hey on uh, on YouTube. There you go. All right, guys. Later.